The new year is almost here, and that means New Year's Eve parties. But why settle for the plain old living room mixer where you can have a block party? And here to show some lighting effects to make your home the place to be is Roger Chang. Yes, now, you know, people ask, why add lights? Why can't you just have the AM, FM radio in the living room turned up all the way and just have people mull about your carpeted living room? Why indeed? Because you want to have fun and excitement. And since humans are such visual creatures, lighting can add a lot. Now, uh, here's your, eight, your, your standard uh, Radio Shack strobe light. And as if you, uh, actually, let me turn this around so uh, no one will get blinded by the camera. If I turn it on, and you can see by the reflection behind me, you can actually start getting that, you know, if you, if you kind of have that really raging part, you can actually get that effect. And by merely turning the knob, you can either slow it down or you can speed it up. And because this is very bright, you can actually use it outdoors or in a very large room without fear of having the effect reduced. So, you know, do the running man and whatever. I'm following you. Hey, hey, it's, it's not that bad. It's 30 bucks, and it's uh, easily available at any Radio Shack near you. Nice. Now, here's something for people who just can't get enough of lava lamps or uh, assorted multicolor light uh, doodads. This is the multicolored uh, light ball. And this, this is Good about... Good name. It's about 22 bucks. And this room is actually not that dark, but if you have a really almost pitch black dark room, it actually works really well. And what you see is a multicolor spread of lights on the ceiling, on the walls. This is actually great if you have like white walls and stuff, as well as your party goers. So they cannot only be at the party, they can be part of the party. All right. Now what if we've got music going then? All right, now if you've got music going, you can uh, actually get something like this uh, groove wheel from American uh, DJ. Now let me just uh, coast it around oh, back. Oh, over here. Now Ooh. if you can see, this is basically an oil, whoops, let me, this is basically an oil wheel, and it's, as it's filled with oil, there's uh, certain properties that act, actually act like a prism when you shine a light through it. So this is the effect, and it's kind of a psychedelic yeah. feel to it. The thing is, it's actually too close to this wall. If you set it up where, or mount it up on the ceiling on a, in a larger area, you can actually get a larger distance. The edges are more diffused and acts more to that effect. So how often do you mount your groove wheel? Uh, once a year. Once a year, because, you know, more than that, just too much. Yeah, it is too much. Uh, it sells, retails for two twenty nine, but if you want, you can rent it from uh, any DJ or party store that rents out DJ Ooh, equipment. That's kind of a good idea. Which is really cool. Yeah. And finally, for anyone who's, like, into those kind of rays with the lights and stuff, you have the Laser Widow. I don't know what they call it. I think they're trying right. to get off the Black Widow. Now, let me turn it around and show you this fantastic device. Back on now, the screen. Ooh. Now, as you can see, it... It does, it does a little, uh, a little lining effect, but if I switch it onto the music mode, which I think it is, is it on? If it hears a beat, like a bass beat, thump, 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 that you get at a rave, it'll actually start changing effects according to the music. Oh, cool. And if you don't like that, it actually has an auto mode, which will just spin by itself depending on what knob mm. you want it. Or if you want, you can actually set it on the little manual mode and you can actually physically adjust it. That is neat. Can, are you guys getting that? Can you see that? It's, it's pretty. Oh, hey, look, it. it's awesome. It's like a spirograph. Yeah, it is. And neat. now you can set this to music all the way up. It's actually kind of cool. So, you know, all, you know, if you just do a combination of them together at a larger party, say like, you know, something more than four people, you know, okay. 14 people at least, minimum. High school, college, dance. Yeah. It's actually kind of cool. Get everyone in the mood. Turn the lights down. A little romance. Come on, I'm not into it, but I'm sure lots of other people are. So you ready for a pajama party? Is that what you're saying? Pajama party? Yeah, because I think the, the women over here on the set are uh, definitely a... Oh, wow. I'll pajama it out. Woohoo! We got to do the disco segment more often, Roger. <laughs> definitely a lot more often. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, we'll be back in a minute.